now family so here yeah, we are again in the heavenly courtroom of abba yehovah with this powerful message already titled for you and me right at part one you're a one of paris salt and water prayer makes abominations until heavy part two so family case i share this in the news feed and you haven't listened to part one i encourage you to do just that we are exposing demonology like i said it's like i knew the whole thing is gonna ramp up the Golo, you know, they, they are coming up together. Yeah, because we are dealing with satanic kingdom. Covens, which is a wizard cove. Alright, that's what we are dealing with. I start this series for the past thing. I think I started as September. Yeah, because October I have up to seven video already. Eight video already. Yes. At, at early September. <laughs> We start early September. All right now, Abbe Yehua is coming for his people. In order for you to learn the truth, you need to unlearn the lies you once been filled with. Okay, so dealing with the truth sometimes so hot. It, it, it is you know hot more than surgery. You know, giving out the truth, <laughs> it pierces more than surgery. Who's gonna handle it? We need the truth. We need the truth. Can you handle it? Uh, when they are dealing with, with the people you guys love, then you are murmuring your heart against the policy that is exposing the this very um, exposed. I don't care whether you murmur or not. This this demon, high ranking demon, she's also weak as spirit. We are dealing. What thing I don't understand? This woman says she's going to heaven by whose authority? What is what is her guideline? Have you ever seen Bible in this woman? Oh no, Ukoko Kalabash cup and pictures of the dead people. So what heaven is she carrying you to? Indeed, when the blind slays the blind, they always gonna fall into destruction, into the pit. Yeah, that is Matthew uh, 15, 14 to 15 also. Because she is blind, illiterate. And she is leading you into the domination. Alright now. So, when we are dealing with 
people like this that uh, people's people that people's love i don't know what you have to love me i love anything you know that confirms the royal law okay when you carry the bible and do bible 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 things bible way i love you king that way the one you call david said he said i hate the enemy of god with perfect hatred perfect he said do that I, do, do, I hate them that hate you with perfect love he said those that don't want to do the will of Abba, you want those that rejected the word of Abba, he said i hate them with perfect hatred he did i read that in some this is some 139 or so i'm not sure i said wow he said with perfect hatred so when you talk about the bible i assume this woman is speaking bible uh, 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 i also call her you know to encourage her of course of course if we have one spirit why not i will show her love but now you lead it you know ties us into destruction you are my enemy follow up next sunday excuse me what what next shabbat i want to hit hammer again on our first testimony so now right here we'll start the point two listen now point one make sure you listen to part one which is the point one as well Point one goes like this, what is salt and water according to Bible? Very powerful, very amplified, so educating. Just go and listen to it. This is the kind of message I, I don't play games with. If I see somebody passing out such powerful information, I will run. I, I'm not saying you should run after me. That is not what I'm doing. That, that is what I always love to say. It's not personal. Another sensational. Sensational simply means to get great attention. And I, uh, 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 I'm pointing you back to the Bible. If you understand what I mean, that's what I, exactly what I'm doing over here. Pointing you right back to the Bible. Just go and do Bible things, Bible's way. Carry Bible the way Bible wants you to carry him. Don't add your own. It is dangerous. That's what I'm saying over here. This woman is not preaching no Bible. She don't have no religious book. No religious book. As if she's quoting Quran, that's okay, she's Islam. As if she's quoting Kabbalist now, we say, okay, she's the synagogue of Satan. As if she's quoting uh, Zohar or Babylonia Tamusti, again, I will know she's the Jewish synagogue of Satan. But none of that. She don't have no, no authority, no, no guideline, no Bible, no whatsoever. Why is she preaching? Oh, God, God. Spiritually, of course, she have something she's putting in your heart, which is your sword and water. All right, now, point two goes this way. Listen to part one. Mm, point, point, point two goes this way. Sinner's prayer is abomination unto the most tar. Did you get that? You want to tell me now that everyone, because you already don't talk Bible, because you don't know how to read Bible, you should have been taught first. You say you want to fix it, do you? Rather, you couldn't fix your life. You couldn't fix your life to go and look for your own husband. Why must you take people's husband? You are a fr you as a fresh woman. Why must you take use and dump? Two women are already dead with that Igbo man. So we may already have children. That is user, that, that is second hand. What are you doing with second hand? You couldn't fix your life. You couldn't fix your womb. You are 40 years, but yet no child, no issue. No issue. Go and fix your problem first. Uh -uh. Charity begins at home. If your salt and water indeed is prophetic, why can't you use it to heal your problem? You see, when the man of your wife throws salt into the water, the water was healed and the land was healed. It cleanses them. Why can't you be cleansed from your barrenness? Why can't you be cleansed from, you know, hook, hook, hooking up with another man's wife? That man has already died with two women. You snatch him away because now you are making money online. Pumping money now into him. If both men don't joke with money, they can even cut their pennies and sell it all in the name of money. All in the name of money. So he must run after you because you are making great money now, big, big money. Okay? Sinner's prayer is an abomination unto the most high. You want to tell me now the people, like I said, she don't quote Bible. Obviously, it is unbeliever that is calling her. <laughs> Your prayer is an abomination. Sort and water, uh, uh, sort and uh, water a prayer you are making for them. It is an abomination. And she's making that prayer. Always remember with Idian Yesige's name, with the name of the um, uh, um, um what, what, what she call it? Ethnical. That is in the part of the gods of the land, not the most tall. And she will say, Ethnian, yes, again, which means in the part of the dead woman. What? That's an abomination, okay? 
Always mind you, a true believer, I knew Christianity is filth, but Christianity can never descend to this low. I know they, are, they carry one spirit. But let's judge on the surface. Let's leave now the inner parts, okay? Let's judge in the surface. Christianity in their surface can never descend so low. Mm -mm, they quote the Bible. Even though they are going to rob you to buy for private jail, but still they quote the Bible. <laughs> Those ones, they will not twist it in your hand. <laughs> Jesus nailed the Lord to the cross. But if they want to steal, don't dare these people. They will say, no, sorry, Jesus leave that part for us in order for us to make money, okay? But still, they quote the Bible. They don't quote the cocoa. Calabash cup, dead people. No, they don't. No, those ones don't do that. No. True, genuine Christian, they don't fornicate. They don't drink alcohol. Just that they are doing Babylonian, but still, they, they don't do any of this. What is, what is your appreciation unto you? Nothing. Okay? So, point it goes this way. Sinner's prayer is abomination unto the most high. Now, I want to see what that is. How, how is it abomination? So, if it means abomination, therefore, another day it is answer. Of course, it then yes, it is the one answer. Go and listen to the uh, satanic trinity that I did last Shabbat. You're going to see the trinity of Iori. It then opens with the yes, again. They are fully deities, okay? They are using those people's face as a cover up. The three dim, dead people, they are three wicked demons. Very wicked demon. Serpent is the high ranking. Se uh, uh, serpent, which is the seraphims, is the high ranking, followed by cherub, which is your Jesus in the Christianity. In Islam, is a prophet. <laughs> oh, my father. In the Euro, is a uh, uh, Indian Yesigi. <laughs> Just go and listen to you. You're going to find it over there. I don't care if you're hungry. You know, I don't care. I don't send at all. Mm -mm. Passing out the truth, it hurts more than surgery. But someday, somehow, it's going to help you. The letter J that gave you Jesus, is it year 400 years old? So what was the name our forefather was using? And this Bible you are carrying is being written over 2,000 years ago. So where did Jesus came? What was the name? What was the name? So, I don't care. If you are hungry, that is none of my business. So now let's unveil the truth. Sinner's prayer is an abomination unto the Most High. All right, now, scriptures to validate these points. Here we are, John chapter 9, verses 31, I read. Now, we know that Yahuwah heareth not sinner's prayer. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahuwah and doeth his will, he, he heareth. He said, he said, now, we know that the most high don't listen to prayer, pray a sinner, uh, 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 prayer of sinners. Mm -mm, we know he don't. But anyone that do the will of Abbey, whether it's worshipping him, he said their prayer, of course, he do hear. So, who is he? You're a servant. So, sinners' prayer is an abomination. We'll put some up. Here we are. Okay. Isaiah, or oh, Yeshiyahu, chapter 1, verses 15. The one you call Isaiah. Verses 15, chapter 1, verses 15. I read. When ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my face. Okay. I take it again. And when ye uh, spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Sinners, I cannot hear you. Eternal listener. Come now and let us reason together, saith Yahuwah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though thy uh, be the, uh, though they be red, like crystal, 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 they shall be as white as snow. If you are willing and obedient, you shall be the best of the land. If not, you will be destroyed. You see what he said? Come now, before I start to relate, before I start, you know, talking, before I start revealing who I am unto you, come now, let us brace it together. If your sin is so, so, and so. I need to get it out of the way first. If you are not, if you are not willing to open your hand for me and let me wipe out that sin, you are my enemy, Tono. We see. He said you can make many prayers. I won't hear you. I'm going to hide my eyes from you because your prayers is irritating him. It's evil. I don't want to hear it. Hmm? All right now. Here we are again. Matthew chapter 9. You can take it from verses 1 to 13. I read. Uh, where am I going to read? Uh, let me take from two. Or uh, one. And he entered into the ship and passed over and came into 
his own city. And behold, there brought to him a man sick of paralysis, lay on a bed, and Yehoshua, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the paralysis, son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Did you get that? What, what, what is that? Sin is a blockage. Sin is an accuser. Sin is a palsy. That man of sin is, is, a, is the phrase. So where is the man of sin? Genesis 3 is the man of sin. That taught sin. What is sin? Go to 1 John 3 verses 4. It says sin is transgressions of the law. Sin simply means you breaking the law. Okay? Now, you break the law, therefore the devil is going to attack you with sickness. So in order for healing to take place, that was what Messiah first of all said unto them, my your sin is forgiven. Okay? In order for him, for Sempe not to use, you know, your weak point or the sin found in you as an accuser, he said he accuses the brethren night and day before Yehovah. Why is he using to accuse us? The weak point in us. The sin, the life of sin in, in us. So for Messiah to carry out his ministration, the power of his healing, first of all, he has to get rid of sin because he's a palsy. Your sin is forgiven. In order for a blockage not to come, for him to receive healing. In order for a blockage at all, or the devil never to, in order for the devil not to open his mouth and begin to accuse him. Don't mind him. He's a liar. He's a this. He's a that. He now shut that mouth. His mouth up. And say your sin is forgiven. Therefore now, Take up your mouth and go to your house. That was how he received healing. There the scribes, listen now. He said, your sin, should I, should, I, should I take it again? And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the paralysis, lay on a bed. And Yahushua, saying, their faith, said unto the sick of the paralysis, so be of a good share, for thy sins be forgiven thou. And behold, certain other scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemeth. And Yahushua, knowing their thoughts, said, why? Think ye evil in your heart. For what is easier? For, for what is easier? To say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise and walk. Which one is much easier? He should have said, arise and walk. But sin is not going to allow him to walk. Sin is going to be, the, it's a person. It's going to be pointy finger. You lied. You do this. You do that. It's going to serve as a blockage for the healing. That was why, first of all, he now said, your sin is forgiven. In order for prayer to work, that was why you also said where we are coming from, uh, uh, um, Isaiah chapter 115, as down to 18. You see, come, let us raise it for me to hear your prayer. Come now, although your sin is like this and like that, red, uh, your, although your sin is scarlet, I'm gonna wash it, it's gonna be white as snow, although it's like crimson. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna wash you, I'm gonna clean up you, you will be like, whoa, you know, I, I'm gonna remove all those fields. It, in another words, Abba Yehovah, first of all, has to fix your life back, okay, in order for his glory to be seen in you, in order for prayer, your prayer to ascend, your sin, first of all, needs to be forgiven. Prostitute is making your prayer pointed, like the one that said she was never having no womb, she, she is a fornicator. She is a fornicator. She never repented. None of believers is doing. No, all of them, they are unbelievers. So it's answering your prayers. Hidden yes again. Listen, Mother Calabash. Here we are, Proverbs 28, verses 9. Okay. And this pork, in fact, it really looks like a lady, pig, unclean, unclean beast. I read now. Because the word of Abba is going to pierce both of you. And your stupid demon that gave you that confirmation. Turning the royal law upside down. Contradicted the royal law. I read now. Proverbs 28 verses 9. He that turneth. Should I take it again? He that turneth. Away his ear from hearing the law. Even his prayer shall be what? Abomination. Mm. Mm. Should I take it again? He that turneth. Away his ear from hearing the law. Mm. Evil is prayer shall be abomination unto Yehovah. Mm. You don't follow the rules and regulation. You don't born again. You don't confess your sins and forsake. He said, confess your sins to one another and forsake and go back no more. Okay, if you, you were once a prostitute, you are no more prostitute. Your leader is a blind guy. She don't even know how to read Bible. She don't even quote no Bible. She only quote Indian yes, the dead people. In fact, this imbecile, this Yuri, this lunatic now also said, 
Why spending money to Babalawo? Why spending money on Babalawo? He said this, what Babalawo is doing. That is exactly what she's also doing. When somebody reports you uh, to this spirit of the land, he said they are going to do that, you know, uh, report in the night. He said that was why she also tells you to go and report to those people that, that is to, 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 to Oh, oh my father, that is to say, that is to defend yourself that you are innocent. He said that is what she's doing. He said because Babalawo now, when you when they give your contract to Babalawo, Babalawo is also going to take it to the people of the night. In happening one song, that is how she said, uh, elders of the night. Okay, who are elders of the night? He said, uh, what she said, uh, oh, when you give the, your contract to Babalawo, uh, says some people is after you, and your Baba, he said Babalawo is going to take your. Uh, whatever your request to the people of the night, the elders of the night. He said the elders of the night is the one to look into your matter and give judgment. He said exactly that is what she's also doing. He said now when you give it to Babala, now Babala is going to be demanding money from you. He said but for her, she is not asking you money. She is also referring you to the elders of the night. That is the salt and water she's asking you to use to bathe, uh, bathe, uh, bathe yourself. He said by so doing, she is presenting your case to the elders of the night. That is witchcraft people that is witchcraft this woman said this from her own mouth i said why is people still listening to this woman this one is confessing this one is a demon utterly completely this is wickedness this is so outrageous i said what uh, uh, this woman is letting you know this is the people i'm presenting your case to the elders of the night having in one song what oh no my people indeed that perish for lack of knowledge we put some more. Upper your words if you don't listen to my law. If you turn your ears away to hear the commandment. <laughs> Say your prayer is an abomination. It's not going nowhere. When you are praying, it's going to be descending on you because it's not going nowhere. So it's answering this prayer. Of course, we saw already. Say in one She's reporting your case to the people of the night. The elders of the night. Who are they? Who? Which is a wizard. I will so. Ogiazendan. That meriados. You are because this is blasphemy exactly the way my sister did it. But Mary, Mary Jace, Mary Ados quickly reverse her own. My sister, her uh, home took three years before she started saying, No, I'm not confessing. I didn't say I, I was a witch, I said I was a mommy water. That one did not reverse it totally, but she was now ashamed and said she said she was mommy water. Uh, uh, Mary Ados said she's playing, it said, but among the seven women, two came to confess to her genuinely that they were witches. Uh, uh, Emeredo, you don't know what you put yourself in. You are already tied down. You must provide those two people. We are, I'm coming for you on Monday. On Monday is your own. Because you are not few. Witchcraft spirit must be removed from the land. Because you also, you turn your ear from the ear in the law. <laughs> your prayer is an abomination, okay? All right, now. Proverbs, again, 1529. Listen, now. Yahweh is far from the wicked. But, the, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. The sinners, your prayer, it says far away from it. You don't listen to it at all. Just as we saw in John 9, 31. He said we know that you don't hear the prayers of sinners. It's far away from your prayer. Only the prayers of the righteous, he listen to. Hmm? We put some more. You know one thing, for Mary those to reverse it, for me, it's, it's not new to me. This is how, have you ever been when a, where a witch is being confessed in Nigeria? This is it is the same tactics. It is the same trick. It is the same logic. They have never changed because it, they don't have new system. In other words, it is still the same old sempet, old system, old fashion. They don't have new system. When they already finished confessing in Nigeria, this is how they reverse it. They say, hey, 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 hey. someone lie on them. Hey, oh, they are way. I, for her to come, I know it would do. I know she's going to come to this extent, but. I didn't know it was going to be so fast. <laughs> after two weeks, going through three weeks. My sister was after three years or three years. She trying to reverse it. But it's already in the mouth of the whole world. You can't reverse it. Oh, go back in your words, mighty as you have. Bring shame and disgrace to it. The same, that shame and disgrace is going to. Oh, yeah, Sagba, that's so cool too. In the link of fire, your words, mighty name. Why can you just come to white word, white word, you know, TV? Social media, it begin to say you are this and you are that. It's hey, Yuri, <laughs> the other one. Okay, 
He said to confess unto her. He said she is reversing it because of her mother anyway. Anyway, I always on Monday. He said she is reversing it because of her mother. Because her mother says she don't return back to the Facebook. And says she's lying. She will go and kill herself. I said that, that your mother is also a witch. Oh, oh, salo bo a push wa bo a ba. Oh, why I have a go ba all of you. As you all are polluted that land. You will see what is going to happen to all of you. Your, her mother is also a witch. She was afraid not to confess her. That is what normally they are doing. All right, now we come back to your mad woman. Azen, Ogi Azenta. This is the most wicked witches I've ever met in my life. Yuri is the highest of it all. I read now. Hosaya, chapter 4, item from 6 to 7. Listen now. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shall be no prince to me. No prince to me. Say that thou forgotten the law of Yehovah, I will also forget thy children. As they were increased, so that they are sin, so they are, so they are sin, and so they, excuse me, so they sin that against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. Do you see what he's saying? Speaking to sinners that refuse to repent. Do you see what he say until the you are a sinner, you refuse to repent? And you 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 are not your lady a set of destruction, you are leading a lot of souls. You are leading a lot of souls of countable broad is the way that leads to destruction. He said, Broad is the way and wide is the gate that leads to destruction. Many has already gone through it. And for them to be going through it, their leader must be a destructive one. Because a destructive one is also going to be leading you in a destructive way. And she is a destructive element. That is why she's also leading you through now the broad way of the eternal domination. And you see, he said because you forget the law. He said because you turn your ear away, because you rejected the law. For that reason, he also rejects you. Now, he is not rejected. He says he also rejects your own children. For that reason, he's going to turn your glory into shame. Do you know what that is? What you saw as rest is going to be torture in the link of fire. What you saw as honor is going to be shame and disgrace for you in the eternal link of fire. In your words, mighty, that is what he's talking about. We put some more. So this is how bad it is, you know, to reject the law, to reject the Bible. This is how bad it is. He's not only going to reject, he said he will reject, he was also going to reject your children. That is going to be from generation to generation because you reject his word. You don't, you don't allow his word to govern your life. His governing system is not found in you, rather the governing system of the dead people. That is what is found in you. That is the people you are propagating. That is the people you conjure with. That is the people you cohabit with. The dead people. Eh? The dead people. Okay. When you are dealing with people like this, you need to be more careful and read. And if you, you know, just present your case. So let's process this again. The play, I quoted it already, but let's hear from the royal of 1 John 3 4. Whosoever committeth sin, Trans transgress also the law for sin is the transgressor of the law did you get that sin simply me break the, breaking the law you, you you disagree you rejected the law the law said that shall not do this what are you doing with a married man even though he's not married I don't care what I'm, I'm, I'm after is a man that belongs to two women already why are you not the third hand you are not even the second and not first hand not second but third hand Eh? From hand to hand. Eh? From Mama uh, uh, Una. From Mama Una to Mama Preke. Una WhatsApp. Una Preke. <laughs> to Mama. From Mama Uzo. Mm? To Mama uh, Eze. Now to you. Shame on you. You can't even fix your life to have your own husband. Do you think those two women, they are happy with you? <laughs> they are sorry for you in their hearts. Because you snatched their husband. Because you are making more money online eh, to be pumping upon their husband. They are not happy. You take another man's husband. You couldn't fix your life. You couldn't fix your womb. You say you want to fix the, the great Edo. Eh? <laughs> Did I heard you right? You are mad. Demon possessed woman. Now, here I say people should be praying 2 o'clock midnight. 2 o'clock, okay? Say they should take off their clothes. That, that is not biblical again. Everything at all can you are guilty, okay? But the so called pastor that said is called Pastor David. That one, your eye will be blind, wicked animal. Said they should be doing theirs 12 o'clock midnight. They should take off also their clothes. It's the same spirit. 
you know, working in different denominations. So you want to tell me that the devil don't work in the daytime, only 12 midnight. You are just initiating people into COVID. That, that is the secret. Because Satan operates also at daytime, which is a wizard that also operates daytime, not only in the night. Listen now, I don't oppose to... 3. I read verses 1. Now, Kipha and Yehukanai went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the night hour. Which one is the night hour? That should be uh, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They go to the temple to pray, make a prayer of agreement. They went to the temple. So we have a set time of prayer. We pray night and day. So why are you telling people? Uh, to, to, in other words, you are just initiating them into witchcraft covenant for all of you to be having a great time in the witch covenant. You say you are praying for them. It is an initiation. Mm? Not prayer at all. We see already that if you are a sinner, your prayer is an abomination. It goes nowhere. In other words, you are just initiating you guys into witchcraft covenant in order for you to be celebrating the dead. The dead people she is propagating unto you. Let's see how we pray. Our Apostle again, chapter 10, active from verses 2. And a, a devout man, okay, oh, excuse me, a devout man, and one that feared Yehovah with all his house, with all his house, which giveth much harms to the people and prayed to Yehovah always. Listen, three. He saw in a vision, evidently about the night hour of the day, an angel of Yehovah come down in to him. Saying unto him, Colonus, he knows about him. So we go to now. He comes to tell them to be baptized as they were praying. Okay, what what hour of the day? What okay, night hour. You see now, night hour still again, three o'clock in the afternoon. The angel of Yahweh descend while he was praying. Now, verses 9. I read. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and draw nigh unto the city. Kepha went up the half step to pray about the sixth hour. So what is the sixth hour? That simply means 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You see, the evening sacrifice or the evening, which is 9 o'clock, the evening, evening prayer, it is which is the ninth hour, simply means 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll pray. We see the sixth hour of the day, which is 12 o'clock over here. We'll pray. We don't pray only in the night. Now, thanks. All right, now we see another prayer. Teheli, the one you call Psalms 55, verses 17. Listen up. This is the royal king, King David. Even a morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Do you see how we pray? We pray in the morning, we pray in the evening, we pray in the noon, we pray in the night. Okay? Your own, only two o'clock. In the night. That is where witchcraft, they are really flying. Yuri is flying in daytime before your eye. You, you guys can't even see it. Now, what is she, what she saying? That only in the night the devil can operate. The witches are wizards. They don't operate in the daytime. But we see already they do operate in the daytime. We put some more. What about Psalm, Psalm 91? It's all about the destruction of the enemy in the day. He that dwelleth. In the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yehovah, He is my refuge and my fortress, and my Yehovah. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from this snare of the fire and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers, and under His wings shall my shall I find shall I be trust. His trust shall be my shade and my buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror by night, no, for the arrow that flashed by day, no, no, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, no, for the destruction that wasted at new day. Did you get that? A thousand shall fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand side, but none of them shall condemn you. Huh? Only with my eyes shall I see, shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. Because I make you who are my refuge, my donor, my dwelling place. So arrow flash by day. Destruction takes place by day. So when they pray in the night, you say, go and relax, it is done. Witchcraft. Exactly the very first 
population in the morning first because we have a set time of prayer. The prayer of the biblical prayer begins nine o'clock in the morning, which is the uh, third hour of the day. Here we are, Matthew 27. You see it over here. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took Keso and Gesi Yahushua to put him to death. They arrested him at money ablation. When you go to Exodus 20, you're going to find it out over the money ablation, EV ablation. So at the very time where the first animal or the first lamb needs to be sacrificed in the morning at the third hour of the day, they got him arrested because he's the lamb of heaven that came to take away the sins of the world. Why did he die? If sin is not so significant or serving as a blockage, why should the Holy One come from his holy habitation and to come and put on a crown of thorn and you know, be dead with, with sinners? Why must he go through that humiliation? Now that you are glorying your sin, now that you don't, you yourself don't repent. People is clapping hand in iniquity. So who is making your prayer? When prostitute they are all doing it. Boyfriend and girlfriend they are all doing it. You say some pastor, <laughs> oh, Baba Lawo is also doing it. So what are you propagating? That which means you are promoting wickedness. You bring reproach to the land. He said when a sinner comes to power, he said they will bring reproach to the land. Righteousness does exalt the nation, but sin brings reproaches. Excuse me. It says sin brings reproach to the land. Why righteousness exalts the land? So you are you are a propagator of sins. Therefore, you are bringing reproach to other states. Mm? If you are talking about righteousness, therefore you are going to be exalted the land. Mm? All right now. I read verses forty-five, Matthew twenty-seven forty-five. Listen now. Now from the sixth hour. There was darkness over all the land until, until the ninth hour. So the biblical Messiah gave out the spirit because the ninth hour, which is the evening ablation, when you also go to 1 Kings chapter 17, uh, 18, I think I'm also going to read it. We see the author of life gave out the spirit. He died. Three o'clock in the afternoon. That is the ninth hour of the day. That, this, you know, the biblical calculation, we don't have 24 hours. We have 12 hours of the day. We have 12 hours of the night. That is why you can get 12 midnight, okay? Which is 6 hours, 12 midnight, okay? The day of the biblical reckoning begins 6 sundown. When it's sundown, you can go to Genesis chapter. We're going to find it. There was evening and morning the first day. So evening begins the first day. Evening begins the day of Yehovah when it's still daylight, Okay? Because the night that is going to usher you into a day start at 6 o'clock. That's what I meant to say. The night that is going to usher you into the day start at 6 o'clock while it is still broad day light. Okay? So that's why you can get 12 midnight. That's why, it, 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 that, that is why we get the accuracy. 12 midnight. Midnight. This is midnight. 6 hours midnight. So when it's 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock start the, the hours of the morning. So... 6 o'clock, 9 hour, that is the third hour of the day. That is how we call our own third hour of the day. You see here, that I say from the sixth hour, which is from 12 o'clock, way down to 3 o'clock. He gave us the spirit. Let me read it where he gave us the spirit. 9 o'clock, no, 3 o'clock, excuse me. It, it, it passed out. He said it is finished. Where is it? Uh -huh. Okay, now 46. Okay, uh, but the ninth, uh, ninth hour, Yehoshua cried with a loud voice saying, okay, after that, he gave us the spirit. Okay, after that he gave up, because that is the evening sacrifice, where the very the, the time the angel of Yahweh descend unto Colinus, okay, to give him the goodness of uh, eternal salvation. Now you can read First King, or uh, chapter eighteen. We are dealing with appoint, appoint, appointment appointed time of prayer, not only in midnight. I read First King eighteen. I'm taking from twenty six, and they took the first prophet. You know there are always many eight hundred. Uh, 51st prophet of Jezebel, only one Eliyahu to face, to face 800, uh, 850 prophet of destruction, Ari 26. And they took the bullock, which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal, or Baal, from morning, that is 9 o'clock in the morning, from morning, even until noon. So they did the morning ablation, it did not answer. They did the afternoon ablation. Mm -mm. It did, Allah did not answer. Jesus did not answer because they are all dead demon. They are all, they are all dead. They are fully deity. Listen now. Uh -huh. Until noon, saying, Oh, babe, hear us. But there was no voice because they are dead. Nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made 
And it came to pass at noon that Eliyahu mocked them and said, Cry aloud for a God, for he is a God, either he is talking or he is uh, pursuing or he is, uh, uh, he is in the journey or perivetra, he is, uh, uh, sleepeth and uh, must be awakened. So he now begin to mock them. So now when the evil sacrifice now come, let me look, rush towards that one. He now says, stop this nonsense, 29 now. And it came to pass when midday was past, and they prophesied until the time of the even of until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor they nor any that regarded them. Therefore Eliyahu now did his own at the evening sacrifice fire came down. That is the appointed time to meet with Yehovah. If you are appointed time to meet with which is a wizard. Or I was so wicked spirit. Twelve in the midnight. Uh, two. This one is twelve. This is a lady. This is a lady who is twelve. This one is two o'clock. Wicked animal. All right now. Here is the service temple. The prayer. The, where the temple Peter and John went to in Acts of Apostles chapter 3. I read Exodus 29, 38. Now this is that which thou shalt offer upon the altar two lambs of the first year, day by day continually. The one lamb thou shalt offer in the morning, and the other lamb thou shalt offer at evening. Morning is nine, the morning oblation, nine o'clock, and the uh, evening is three o'clock. That is why the biblical uh, 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 Messiah gave up the spirit in the ninth hour of the day, mm, three o'clock. You know, being the lambs of the Lamb of Heaven that came to take away the sins of the world, he do it biblically. Here I am, Romans chapter twelve, verse one. I be, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Jehovah, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Jehovah, which is your reasonable service. This is it. All your body needs to be dedicated unto Yehovah in order for your prayer to ascend. You must do it accurately. First of all, you need to repent. Get, get along. Study the royal law. That is where he works. Family, follow up with part three. That is how it works. I want to do the finishing over there. That is how it works. Not for you to be praying only 12, 2 o'clock. The other one said 12. The other one said, worry about daytime. So worry about fellowship in the morning, in the noon, in the evening. It does it can't. You are both demon, Jesus people. There is the same spirit, okay? The same spirit, the same God, the same spirit working in different denomination. That's it. <laughs> the same spirit. This one, two o'clock. No, two o'clock, twelve o'clock. So worry about daytime. If they say they want to make that prayer, they need to do it at that time. At that time, that is not biblical. You are all in sin. 